just going to have a second fixing today, but I thought I'd show you how I wire a socket. Right, let's show you how to wire up this uh, ring main socket. The okay, first thing you need is a socket. I like to use MK because that's about the best quality you can buy. Right. Now this is a drywall plastic box, plastic box. So there's no earthing terminal at the back of this one. But if you have a metal back box, you need to run the earth wire into the earth terminal first. Now with this, I've got loads of spare wire. But you just stuff it back into the wall. It's always good to have a little bit of spare in case something goes wrong. Or indeed if you're the next electrician that comes along. So I just snip into the wire of my side cutters. Find the earth wire. Pull that out. And then using the earth wire like a zip, just pull it all the way back. And then snipping the PVC sheet off. Same with the other one. Snip. I'll do this one in a slightly different way. Pick up my pliers around my side cutters. You get a slightly better grip on your earth wire. So pull it back like a zip. Pull the sheath back and just snip it off. And there you go. So the wires just have the sheath entering the box. Now for the, thing, for the length of the wires, I tend to use about the length of my side cuts as a general sort of rule of thumb for how long they should be, or how long I clip them down and then we... You want some earth sheathing to put over the obviously earth wires. Bits that to the side. Now some people use one piece and put both earth wires in. I think that's a bit cheap and bodgy, so I don't do it, but some people do do it that way. And earth sheathing is so cheap, it's just not even worth trying to save a few pennies on it. So there's your earth wires, and then what I do, pull the wires together, and then just give them a nice tight twist together. And then cut them off to size. It's, so I do it this way, it's just over the width of your plies and then strip off your conductor wires and then send your earth wires just pull them together and give them a little twist Put to size, I just take the socket, all right. Your socket's inside, it'll be labeled live earth neutral. Super important on the socket that you get this right, and um, with these ones. Fixing screws. I just gripped inside the socket to set them off for later. So let's see. neutral. If you see it there, the sheath of the uh, conductor is it doesn't go inside the terminal, but it just meets the terminal. So there's no there's no conductor showing. So if you pull this off, you can get an accident, an electric shock. Now 
you want your conductors tight, but not over tight. And then we just dress your cables in, push them to one side, turn them to the other. Make sure they're away from the front plate screws, because that's a common error. Take your front plate screws straight onto the live, and then, you, then you've got a fault when you test it. Well, I hope that was useful, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.